Born in Little Rock, Arkansas on September 22, 1941, Ernest Gideon Green was a member of the Little Rock Nine and is the first African American to graduate from the formerly all-white Central High School on May 27, 1958. Green attended Michigan State University after graduating from Central High and received a bachelor's degree in social science and a master's degree in sociology. He later received an honorary doctorate from the University of Arkansas. Green was the director for the A. Philip Randolph Education Fund, then became the Assistant Secretary of Labor during the Jimmy Carter administration. Green then joined the Lehman Brothers, which is an investment banking firm in Washington, D.C., where he is a senior managing director today. Along with Daisy Bates and the other members of the Little Rock Nine, Green was awarded the prestigious Spingarn Award, which is awarded annually for outstanding achievements of African Americans by the NAACP, President Bill Clinton presented the Congressional Gold Medal to the members of the Little Rock Nine, which is the nation's highest civilian award. Green has had a Disney movie made about him called The Ernest Green Story. Ernest Green is one of the many examples of success through education we celebrate this month. again as we take a look at success in education for Black History Month. That was Jasmine Gilliam reporting. I'm Drew Gibbs. And I'm Corey Diaz bringing you your G News broadcast for Wednesday, February 15th. Attention seniors, Balfour has a new delivery day for graduation announcements. On Thursday, March 23rd, 2017 during lunches, you may pick up your graduation announcements at the concession stand. Would you like to be a part of a huge cause? Our spring, blood, our spring blood drive will be on Wednesday, February 22nd in the gym. Sign-ups will be during lunches this week and next week. We are trying to reach our goal of 100 pint donation in order to get a $2,500 scholarship through the American Red Cross. Every pint counts. Please see Ms. Borski in B113 if you have any questions. Students must be 17 years old or have a signed permission slip and weigh at least 110 pounds. Attention 10th grade female students. The Aspire program is looking for interested candidates who would like to participate in a workshop scholarship opportunity. The program focuses on leadership, public speaking, and problem solving. Applications are due by Friday, February 24th. Please see Mrs. Freeman and guidance to pick up an application. Congratulations to our January Reading Month Trivia winners. There is still one contest left, which is the Bookmark Design Contest. Everyone is welcome to stop by the Media Center to vote on your favorite bookmark entry to see who will win. Here's a look at your choices. Attention 11th and 12th grade female students. The Virginia Council on Women's STEM Essay Contest is a contest for female students interested in STEM-related careers. Applications and essays are due February 20th. Please see Grasswood High School Scholarship List for the application website. Sports physicals will be offered at Grasswood High School beginning in the cafeteria tomorrow at 4 p.m. and conclude when the last physical is completed. The physicals are $20 cash. Prior to getting one, athletes should bring a VHSL physical form. All athletes trying out for spring sports must have a completed physical form on file before trying out for any sport. All boys interested in trying out for JV or varsity soccer, there will be an informational meeting at 6 p.m. in the forum at Grasswood High School today. Parents are encouraged to come. There will also be a meeting for all girls interested in trying out for the girls' soccer team tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the Forum. Trials begin Monday, February 20th at 9 a.m. 
The Gay Straight Alliance will be at 8 a.m. in the forum tomorrow. All interested teachers and students are welcome to attend. Please see Mr. Blackett or Ms. Brahajic with any questions. Attention all video gamers. The second annual video game tournament is scheduled for Saturday starting at 10 a.m. in the forum. Pre-register this week in front of the forum before homeroom. Donate 15 cans of food for all day play or 5 cans for each hour you plan to stay. Concessions will be operating. All proceeds will benefit the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia. Prizes and awards will be available for a tournament winner. Do you think you have what it takes to be the best dodgeball team in the school? Then sign up for the dodgeball tournament this Friday. Mr. Vogel wants to see you on the court. Attention German students. Are you interested in joining the German Honor Society? If so, please come to a brief informational meeting on Wednesday, February 22nd in room A102. All current German Honor Society members should plan on attending this mandatory meeting. Senior, today is the last day to sign up for your cap and gown pictures. You must sign up in order to have your pictures taken. The sitting fee cost is $25 and is due at the time you have your picture taken. Seniors, if you are interested in attending the annual Tidewater Community College Senior Trip on Wednesday, March 1st, please see Ms. Petway in the main guidance office for more information and a permission form. The event will allow students the opportunity to ask questions, tour the campus, and learn more about programs of study. Space is limited, so registrations on a first-come, first-served basis. Attention seniors, applications are available online for students interested in applying for, the, for a scholarship with the United Negro College Fund. Eligible African-American students must have a minimum 3.0 GPA. Please see the Glasswood High School scholarship list for more information and application website. Applications are due February 23rd. Attention FBLA members, FBLA will hold its next meeting tomorrow morning in room D101 at A15. We will discuss the upcoming FBLA bowling night and much more. FBLA looks forward to seeing you there. Now please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for tuning in today, Grizzlies. Have a great day.